Hey, what is up guys? In today's video, we're gonna be testing the Spedex GS35 Amp 4-in-1 ESC. Now, this is a 2-4S LiPo rated 4-in-1 ESC. It is a BL Holy 32 ESC, which means it can run DSHOT 1200. However, in the documentation, they're stating, do not run PWM, or it's not recommended to run PWM on this ESC. So some other features is a 35 amp ESC, 40 amp burst up to 10 seconds, and it does not have a voltage regulator on board, but it does have current sensing as we can tell here. So that's really nice in that perspective. And they are using non-lead solder, which can be a pain to remove and to change. So take that into consideration. Now the board does look conformal coded here on the bottom. On the top, not so much, but possibly, I don't know. Now let's go ahead and take a look at its orientation here. Now the way it's supposed to be set up is like so. So you have your battery leads on the left and you have the connections on the right. As you can tell, ESC 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's kind of okay, I guess. I really love when the soldering pads for the ESCs are usually up off the sides. It just makes it a lot easier. This can get it kind of messy sometimes, but it's just, you know, it's a personal preference type of thing. This is just me speaking. It's not a deal breaker or anything of that nature. Now they are using big FETs, so it's going to be pretty good. So that theoretically means it could handle a little bit more than the smaller FETs here. And heat is the biggest downfall of an ESC, especially in power delivery. So if these FETs can withstand heat, then they could keep outputting power and reduce the chance of burning up. Now, what do they provide you with? Well, obviously it comes with the silicone power pads with no XT60 connector right here. And these are, I believe, these are 14 gauge wires. And they also provide you with the wire needed and a low ESR capacitor. Now they're obviously putting in the low ESR capacitor because they know it's going to be noisy because the filtration, to be honest, looks somewhat minimal for a four in one ESC. However, this is rated up to a four S. So ah, we'll see how all well this works. They did provide us with a 330 microfarad Rubicon 35 volt low ESR capacitor. And they also do give us the instruction manual here, which is really nice to see. Also on side note, we, if we take a look at the documentation here, it says notice. It says PWM is not recommended. Strongly recommend adding the aluminum electrolytic capacitor. So they want you to do both, not use PWM and also add that low ESR capacitor or you might have a bad day. However, in this test, we're going to test it without low ESR capacitor because a lot of you have been very fussy lately. Now, low ESR capacitor will fix up most things, uh, but we're going to test it for its raw performance. And the filtration, like I mentioned, does look minimal. And um, yeah, we'll see how well this works out. So enough talking. Let's get to the testing, guys. Alright guys, so the results are in for the Spedex GS35 Amp 4-in-1 ESC. Now something that I've immediately noticed from Spedex is they're really not good with 4-in-1 ESCs. They're really good with standalone ESCs, but the 4-in-1 but the ESCs just never seem to perform well. I mean, one of almost one of the worst results I've got was with the Spedex IS30, and I got a lot of crap for that video. So let's take a look here. I mean, the data speaks for itself also. Um, so as we can tell, this is the throttle noise level test, which is 10%, 25% throttle, 50%, 75% throttle, and 100% throttle. These two are exactly the same. This is just a color version so you can get a better idea of what's really going on. And on the right side, we have the simulated aggressive flight maneuvers. This just simulates an aggressive flight so we can get an idea of how well the ESC is coping with the filtration on board and what's really going on, if there's any weird hiccups or anything of that nature. So before getting started, if I do help you, 
to purchase an ESC or choose the correct ESC or avoid an ESC, please consider clicking the links down below before making a purchase to support the channel. That can go an absolute long way to keep the channel afloat. And also, I do have a Patreon. If you could support me there, that'd be super awesome as well. So let's get started. All right, so looking at this, obviously right off the bat, this is not looking really good. You wanna see these as flat as possible and you wanna see more red and you don't wanna see, you know, like this is just not really good. And uh, let's compare it to something so you can get a better idea. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in the Racer Star Metal 50 amp ESC, for example. And let's just take a look at here. As you can tell, this is a pretty decent result, actually. This is a really good result. And I'm going to bring in the throttle noise. See, you see how here you kind of tell what's really going on with the voltage everywhere. Here, you really can't. It's just all over the place. And this is not really good. Now, the Spedex here, now, it does come with a low ESR capacitor. And it does state to notice, please add the low ESR capacitor. And we're just getting its test. I didn't test it with a low ESR capacitor, but it'll do just as good as anything else. But I really wanted to see its raw performance here since it wasn't connected already. And um, what I can see out of the box here, now, let's just say for some reason you didn't have room for your low ESR capacitor. You do have a higher probability of getting mid-throttle oscillations due to electrical noise. Now, there's a probability here. Um, it's higher than other ESCs, and um, yeah, let's take that into consideration here. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the simulator aggressive flight maneuvers. Now, you can kind of see the same thing that's going on with the uh, throttle noise level test here. It's not really clean. You kind of want to see these. You see how the red here is as thin as possible. This is a Racer Star Metal uh, 4 in 1 ESC, which is really good for ESC, actually. This was tested without all the waste capacitor, uh, which is really nice. Now, here, it's just not running as clean as I'd like it to be. I mean, comparing it to its, its you know, SpedEx's single ESCs. Now, they might be using good MOSFETs, but the filtration is pretty terrible. But again, they do provide that low ESR capacitor. So, you know, that, that, that could change everything here. But, you know, out of the box, there's ESCs that are a lot better without a low ESR capacitor. And that's what I'm trying to say in this video. And I know a lot of people, I, I for some reason, every time I say SpedEx ESC is, is not really good, I get a lot of crap for it. But I mean, this is the test. What can I do? This is the results I'm getting. And I've done the test. I, at least, I do each test at least 10 to 15 times. So uh, just the same exact results everywhere. Now, I've also noticed something with the SpedEx. I think there's a little grounding issue in the hardware design, but I could be totally wrong here. Um, it's, it's, it was a little bit strange sometimes. It was doing some weird jitters, and th th this is the kind of jitters when you don't ground your ESC and there's a lot of noise. Uh, th it does these little weird jitters, which... Uh, and by the way, the motors didn't sound smooth. I forgot to mention that. The motors were, were not smooth at all. It was very choppy, kind of. It's just... I don't know. I've just heard so many motors running with different ESCs that I can just pick it up. So uh, the motors didn't sound really great at all here. Um, but, you know, not saying once you add low ESR capacitor, I won't fix it. It, obviously it'll fix a lot of things here and um but overall out of the box it's not really that good as something else that i'd like it to be and well that's currently it guys that's all i can really say right now about this esc so i really hope you guys enjoyed it i really did hope that i helped you choose or avoid an esc um and well that's it guys i'll see you in the next one peace out